Bliss.io. Dead to me, RIP buried. Moody Diddy Moya on the side ahead of me. Dead to me, RIP buried. Murukuku Kogi Suga passing at a pity. Music licensing reimagined. Music licensing, we imagine. Our peak buried, angry mom coming for your pitch force ready. Dead to me, with no hell marries. You need to put body mom, no casting necessary. Moody duty, more you're on the side, you head of me. Moody cook, cook, you should get passing head of pity. Got your mind and mind, your body big, and such shitty. Could be pulling mighty, they may not a negation. Music licensing, we imagined. Come, 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 Today I was getting ready to get in the garage and do my workout. As you can see, we're in the garage right now. And uh, as I was walking into the garage, looking at my phone, somebody hit me up on a DM and said, hey, can you help me achieve my daily goals? I mean, that's kind of a hard, hard question, to be honest. Um, Cause achieving your daily goals is gonna depend on a lot of things, you know? your surrounding, what your goal actually is. You know, sometimes goals are, I don't wanna say impossible, because nothing's impossible. But um, sometimes goals are not realistic, you know? We gotta have short-term goals and long-term goals. Um, your daily goals, I don't know what your daily goals are because you weren't too specific, but how can I help you achieve your daily goal? Um, I'm gonna say for me, right? Let's just, I'll, I'll base it off for myself. So for myself, when I wake up, I gotta have that coffee. coffee. A cup of coffee goes a long way for me. Uh, without that coffee, I'm useless. Um, I really never liked coffee until uh, 2012. I opened a small coffee shop in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it was called Busy Bee, Busy Bee Bagel Cafe. Downtown Brooklyn, um, Bed-Stuy, stand up. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I got into drinking coffee on a daily basis, and now when I tell you I am so addicted, um, we all got our vices. This is what it is, and mine happen to be coffee. I love coffee, so now I drink coffee on a daily basis. If I don't have it, one, I get a headache, and two, uh, I'm not the best person to be around. You know what I mean? So that cup of coffee goes a long way for me. So that's achieving goal number one, being a better person, have that coffee. So um, in achieving your version of whatever that level of greatness is for you, right? So you gotta take into account a lot of things. How do you mark what that level is? What are you measuring it against? Is it other people, other people's achievements? 
where you are right now, where you want to be. So how are you marking that level of success? You know what I mean? Wherever it is that you are aspiring to get to. How do you work harder on yourself? The very best way to do this is to simply, what's the simple word, simple way to say this? To simply be your worst critic. If you're your worst critic, then no one can really take anything away from you. You could take that um, Eminem approach, like he did in Eight Mile. I don't know if you saw that movie, Eight Mile. Great movie, watch it, loved it, Eminem. Um, so, if you expose yourself, all your shortcomings, all, all the things that society or the world could really use against you, you know, to talk about you, whether or not you're fat, you're too skinny, short, tall, good looking, ugly, I don't know, which, you know, that goes, that is really, is really based on who's looking at you and what they're looking for. You know, and who's to say who's good looking and who's ugly? You know, so whatever society could use against you, you expose it, you use it, you express it freely. Hey, this is me. Take a good look, motherfucker. You know what I mean? What are you gonna say? What are you gonna use against me, man? I'm comfortable with who I am, so you can't use none of this against me. And I'm working towards who I want to be. So therefore, you really got nothing on me. So um, if you use that approach, that m and approach, it could really limit a lot of the criticism, a lot of the things that people can throw at you, all right? To stunt your growth or stunt your process. Um, let's see. Never get too satisfied with yourself. It's when we get too satisfied and we feel like, oh, I'm where I want to be. I got what I want to get. Then you get up to that lax state of mind where you stop pushing, you stop striving, you really stop working towards a better you. You know what I mean? And in life, we really, we, we never, in life, we never really arrive. You're never there because there's always a next level. There should always be a next level unless you like Oprah. Next level for over. I think it was David Goggins that said the worst thing that could ever happen to a person is to become civilized. You know, once we become civilized, we let go of all our animalistic urges. You know what I mean? All ideologies. You know, uh, we all have that within us. We all have it. We all have that animalistic urge, but. And trying to keep up with the Joneses and trying to be cool, fit in. You let go of a lot of those aspects of what really makes you you or helped you to get where you are so you can get better. So I, I agree with it. The worst thing that can happen to you is to become civilized. So if you really want to achieve that level of greatness, that level of success that you want, you really got to have that dog in you. You know what I mean? Um, Eric Thomas said that. You gotta have that dog, you know? It ain't gonna be easy. It'll be a dog fight if you want success. It'll be a dog fight if you wanna be great in any field, in any avenue. So, do you want it? How much are you putting out there to get it? There's a saying I, uh, that goes, if I'm not mistaken. The dog climbing the hill will forever be hungrier than the dog that's already sitting on the hill. You know, once you're at the top, whatever the top is for you, it's different for everybody. If you're a chef, or you're cooking on the street corner in a little portable uh, kitchen, or you in like a five-star restaurant. You're in fitness, are you there on Mr. Olympia exposing everybody how great you look, or are you just talking about fitness while you eating cookies and chips? Um, if you're into whatever it is that you're into, there's so many avenues. It could be sports, it could be literature. Like, I'm a writer. I'm not the best writer, but I'm getting better and better every day. I think with the publishing of my last book and the, the new book I'm working on now, 
I've improved in my style of writing. I've improved in a lot of ways in editing because I, I do my own editing. I do everything myself, basically. And in being a self-publisher, you got to invest a lot into what works and what you need to do, what you need to learn, who's doing what, and how is it working for them? How can you make it work for you? How many books are you selling? How many books do you want to sell? How can I promote the book so it can sell even more? I mean, a lot, all these things I'm working on, but I'm learning as I go. You know, if I had I not start the first book, I wouldn't get to the second book where I can actually better myself, right? So take that to what I was saying before. Regardless of what the field is that you want to be in, regardless of what your goal is, how are you getting better? You know, do you have that dog? Do you have that drive? Are you pushing every day? Are you waking up thinking, okay, yesterday I did nothing. Today I'm doing nothing. So how's that gonna better tomorrow? So every single day you gotta wake up. You can't be out here chilling, faking the funk. Like we made it, we're not bothered. I can't be unbothered and then craving success. I don't know what you did to get where you are. I can't pretend to be like you. I can't act like you. I can't be you. Because I'm never going to get to your level by just pretending to be you. So I can't be out here just chilling and cooling. Because I'm not cooling. Because I want to get to that level. I'm pushing. I'm grinding. I'm, every day I'm like, how can I do this? How can I do that? So when you, when you hit somebody up and say, how can you help me do achieve my daily goals it's kind of vague because i don't know what the goal is so it's like i'm doing my best to try and answer that question for you without being disrespectful at the same time you know what i mean because i think the worst thing is taking somebody's uh it, it may seem simple right now thinking how can i achieve my daily goal and that daily goal could be something very specific but since you didn't mention i can't really get get into it or somebody else could see this video and could probably chime in and say hey this is what I think would help with achieving that day you are. You know what I mean? So sometimes the more specific you are, the better it is at getting the right answer, right? And find yourself trying to be what someone else is because you'll never be what they are. You know what I mean? There's a saying, there's another saying. I love those sayings because it's like every time you hear something, it sticks with you and then you can use it in uh, like your everyday life. So I heard this the other day, what you eat don't make me shit. And I think that was Jay-Z. So therefore, and I say that in a literal term, what you eat won't make me shit, so why would I waste my life trying to act like you when it's not benefiting me in any way? It's not helping my growth. It's not helping me in any way. So, yeah, I gotta be out. I mean, you have to be out here hungry. If it needs anger, get angry. If it needs politeness, <laughs> have the big smile on your face. Hey, how are you? How can I help you today? If that's the line of work you're into, yes, be that. But to lose that fire that's burning within you to achieve what you want to achieve because you want to play cool, because you want to fit in, look success is just gonna pass you right by you'll see other people achieving it but you'll be just sitting there just damn I could have been there I could have done that could have would have should have don't get you nowhere B. you gotta apply yourself you gotta apply yourself you gotta find that motivation right here if you really care about what you wanna do if you really believe in it, that in itself should fuel you, should fire you up. That in itself should make you want to go after it. I don't know what it is, but every day for me, I wake up and I think, man, that's some things I want to do. But if I don't apply myself, I'm never going to get there. So to be specific, working out every day. Every day I hit the garage, every day. I don't need to go to a gym. I got everything I need right here. I'm building my body to what works for me, okay? I'm building my body to what I want, 
to what I needed to do. All right? I'm not going to the gym may work for you because that's what you need. You know, some people can't work out alone. They need that environment, you know what I mean, to push them, to help them. You know, they, they need socializing. You know, that's how they, how they motivate themselves to do it. But, um, like, for me, I'm home. I could get up and work out anytime I want to. I'm in my garage. I don't need nobody. Matter of fact, I work out better when I'm by myself. When I have somebody with me, I gotta stop and talk to you. I gotta explain to you what I was doing, what you need to do. If you're working out with me, that is. Um, not that I know everything, but if you come to work out with me, you're doing my workout, I gotta explain it to you, right? Whereas, when I'm by myself, when I hit this garage, man, listen. Sometimes I don't even use music. I listen to motivational speeches. I listen to prayer, TV Jakes. Man, that man gave me through a lot. That's my meditator right there. Um, and sometimes I'm in here with just quietness. Just me and my thoughts. Every movement I'm thinking. Every movement I'm processing. You know, and that's how I get through it. My first book, I went through a publishing company. I paid, I think it was $1,900 to publish my first book. And they promised me editing, they promised me artwork, they promised me advertisement. All the necessary steps to make my book a success, right? And my $1,900 came and went. And Till this day, they still email me, hey, how would you like us to help you um, promote your book? I'm not using you again. You dropped the ball the first time. I put my faith in you. So I had to unpublish my book, re-edit it myself, change the cover, because I didn't like the artwork to begin with, and republish and spend my own money. I've been advertising through Instagram. I've been advertising through um, Amazon itself because I republished through Amazon as a self-publisher. And uh, all these things I had to redo and learn my own by myself, right? Because a lot of times you can't wait on someone to do something for you. Because as they say, when you want something done right, you do it yourself. Some things you can delegate, but if you're not in a position to delegate to the right people, you have to do it yourself, right? If I was let's say a bestseller right and I had I needed the editing on my book I'm sure there are people that would do it properly right I wouldn't even have to hesitate but being that I'm not there yet and I get myself to that level I have to focus on my own editing I have to take the time to read and reread and reread you know and have uh, test readers now I, I learned the, the, the importance of having a test reader have someone else read it because being that you've been in it for so long writing it editing it you can miss things because in your head you know it's supposed to be there so you all like assume it's there and then in reality you're seeing it but it's not there so when you have a test reader they can read the work and let you know what they think and what they find and then if you need to make changes you make changes which is what i'm going through right now a test reading process before I publish my second book because I don't want to have to redo all the same things I did with the first book, right? So, we all have those little voices within our heads, right? That minimizes our growth, that minimizes our progress, you know? Those little voices that whisper sweet nothings in your ear, you know, when you have some things to achieve and they come around and tell you, hey, it's okay, you could take a day off. It's another day. You could do it tomorrow. You know, if you don't do it today, who's gonna be really gonna know? What's one more day? You know? And all these little sweet nothings give you comfort in the moment. But later on you regret them. You regret not taking action. You regret not moving forward, stepping into the light when you had the chance, you know? Um, taking action. I think is one of the most important things you can do to achieve your daily goals. Um, 
because when you take action, you accomplish small goals. And each little small goal, when you add them all up, you amount to one big goal. So celebrate your small wins. You know, I love that, celebrating your small wins. Whether it's just one workout a day, whether it's writing one paragraph a day, um, if you gotta hit the track, get out there. You know, if, if you improve your run time even by 10 seconds, every single day it's great because guess what those 10 seconds every single day is gonna add up and before you know it you hit the time that you always wanted you might even get better than that time you were aiming for so small goals small accomplishments are extremely necessary the process of taking action and accomplishing small goals will over time create that discipline that discipline will last you a lifetime. And once you have that discipline within you, you don't need motivation, you don't need pep talks, you don't need anything. That more discipline that's within you gets you up every day because you know what you have to do and you just fucking do it. You know what you have to get done, you get it done. You do the work. You know, it's easy to do the work when that discipline is within you. When you do something because somebody else is telling you to do it, yeah, you're doing it. You know, I don't, you could check that off, you did it. But when you get up every single day on your own free will and you know what you have to do and you step into the light and you're like, it's go time. There's nothing like it, man. There's nothing like it. And that discipline lasts a lot longer than a motivated moment. I can motivate you in a second to do something. Will you do it tomorrow? Will you do it the day after? Or the day after that? But when you have that aim within yourself to just get it going, then you can get yourself going on a day to day to day to day. Before you know it, it becomes a lifestyle. It becomes those moments where you are low and you can't push forward and you can't find a motivated inspiration. I say find it within yourself, man. For me, sometimes all I do is walk around my, my garage or my driveway and I'll just, I am, I am, I am. Keep saying it till you believe it. I am, I am. It's in the Bible, man. Don't let nobody tell you different. It says I am that I am. When they say, who the hell sent you? I am that I am. That's what God said. You can't understand it. All right? God is not to be understood or explained. It's to be, he is to be experienced. You say it to yourself enough until you believe it. I am. Know who you are. Know what you want. Fucking go after it. We all got it in us. All right, we all fucking bleed the same. Nothing makes you a fucking superhero. We have greatness within us. We all have unlimited amounts of potential to achieve whatever it is that we're going after, whatever it is that you are going after. The only thing is we have to tap into it. How do we tap into it? How do we tap into that fire, that fuel, so we can keep pushing? Uh, I say watch others, others that's done it before you. Whatever that field is you want to get into, watch those that have achieved it. Watch those that are there. Watch those that are doing it on a daily basis. You know? and, Look into their stories, you know, look into their backgrounds, where they come from, how they get where they got. And you can apply it to yourself in many ways. You don't have to do exactly what they did, but knowing what they went through and how they overcame, you too can use that in your own life, right? So, me reading other people's books or watching other people's blogs, because I have this podcast, success is not something you chase something you attract. How do you attract success? It's by the daily achievements, the daily 
process, the consistent grind. You get after it hard enough, long enough, it makes you attracted. Success is not attracted to you because you're putting so much out there into the universe. Don't chase your dream. Become your dream. Do what it takes to be the part. It's not going to magically happen. You know? But how you get good at anything is the consistency. It's the daily grind, the daily repetitions. Whatever it is, do it on a daily basis until you get where you want to get. Become who you want to become. Do what you want to do. Alright? So, this was quick. This is just to answer the question that you posed. Hopefully it worked. Hopefully I did what you asked. Um, but then again, like I said, it was vague, man. A lot of times to get the right answer to the right question, you gotta be specific so that more people, even if, some, if it's something that I can't pick an answer, maybe I don't have the answer, maybe I don't know. But someone else might be able to see this and say, hey, I could help. I know exactly what you're doing, what you're looking for. All right, so. If this helped, let me know. If not, hit me up. Let me know specifically what you wanted. Maybe I can get somebody else to answer the question. I'll pose the question to everybody that's watching this right now. And maybe they'll get back to us and answer it. All right, maybe you learn and I'll learn. We could all learn from each other. All right, that's the circle of life, baby. We learn from one another. We help one another. We teach one another. All right, so until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Yeah, I did all that. Big plans, partners trying to make profits. Yeah, I did all that. Work, sweat, and tears breaking even no ends. Yeah, I did all that. Had to make it happen. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist I.O. Music licensing reimagined. Do everything in front of me. Mike smoke bed heavy. Got a whole agenda. Can't aspire to get a hit. So bump that. It's no surrender. Got a dollar flip through. I'm trying to get it an FT to get them with their hand and crypt to learn how to fix that. I don't really hold out of books, but I'ma learn how to fix that. Some opportunities are never come unless you pay attention. So no, I can't miss that. Moving. MVP, I got the record. I might have to throw some. Big jumper worthy. They gon' have to retire my jersey early. Whole crew coming. Had to work some. Cause I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that. Big plans. Partners trying to make profits. Yeah, I did. Artless I.O. breaking even no ends. Yeah, I did all that. Had to make it happen. Putting hours in my practice. I did all that. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, music licensing reimagined. Feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah, yeah I really feel it's my time, think it's my Big dog walking, big top, young veteran Living legend, bet I'm better than them This is my ship, I'ma jack it like let them in Y'all better not let them in They gon' rotate this so I keep the pedaling Started a chain, the cyclist heaven sent This is 